Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999. I am on Malagdori, and today we're doing another walkthrough of Sky Shrine. Not only are we going up to the quest mobs, but we are also going to continue down through the lair to Ralagrin, who is for the circlet of Falakrin. Um... <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, we're going to go and say hi to him, and then we're going to head over to Yelenax Lair to just show you also the exit there if you've never been there before, or if you need to know how to get there, because, you know, if you're writing for the first time, and you're late for the cough, but you want to try to get there to help for, for Raid's sake, then this is the way to do it. This is how you get there. So I had a great week. I was able to get really close to my level. I am now, I believe, 90% into level 54. And I did die this morning and haven't been rezzed yet, which was a 7% experience loss. So I'm hoping to get a res. I've uh, logged off. To make sure that happens. Anyway, you don't want to hear about that. So, I uh, I was able to do a little bit this week as far as rating goes. One of those just happened to be the Halls of Testing. And wow, it went over really well. We had a, a little bumping of heads of of Azur Guard and Blood Guard. But we got it worked out and we ended up going to the G location on the map. Or the G spot as it's called. And you know what? We did well because of it. We ended up being able to pull flurries, fake flurries, and we got cloth legs, I believe. Uh, also arms, maybe gloves, and we also got some chain pieces, got leather leggings, got two plate breastplates, and a plate helmet. And was a really, really cool time. I mean, honestly, flurries were first time for me first time killing the flurries and man that is that is a heel chain to be a part of that will wake you up in the morning because that is one of those situations where you have to keep that tight chain or your tank is not going to be staying up for very long uh we also had some points where we got to that point and I ended up, when after we killed the first flurry, putting my Reaper, Reaper, <laughs> Reaper of the Dead in my open slot so that if for any reason we were not able to, we were, he was getting down to like, I don't know, 5% for some reason, I, mean, I just would have clicked the, the Reaper. Luckily, we didn't have that situation. We were staying on point and getting his, his health up. And we're able to bust through those flurries. And uh, I mean him by the the several warriors that we ended up having who tanked that night. Uh, Kunio, Outshine, Panzer. Uh, they, they were, I believe, the three main tanks that we ended up having that night. And um, man, it, it makes for, makes for uh, good fights when you have some, some great tanks like that. I... Uh, I uh, Really am trying to get to the point where I go to more raids. A lot of times I am getting on at the wrong time or right after the raid is over. Uh, I'm trying to keep up with when those raids happen. Trying to pre-park my characters because I really do want to try to be a part and uh, start working on DKP. I recently made Malik uh, Dory my main so, all the DKP that I make while playing my cler uh, Cleric, my Rogue, or anyone else goes towards him and uh, trying to get him geared. I am trying to mainly work on getting DKP for weapon upgrades. I currently have the Sword of Pain, and I also have the Sword from the Pickler from Seb. And it doesn't come to the Zealot's uh, Blade is all I can remember from the name of it. But it has a life leech that also acts like a uh, like splurt in a way. It starts at a low number and goes up. Also like the shaman epic. But it's it's not sustainable. <laughs> 
So I'm I'm looking at upgrades like doing the um, trying to get the Frost Wraith uh, from TOV or the Soul Defiler from uh, Yelenek. Maybe try to get uh, the Midnight Shield. By the way, this individual right here, that is the person that you do the custom crown turn in. This is the room where you do your quest armors. We're going to continue on from here and go down to Ralakrin for the circlet of Falakrin. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> um, also, trying to find a shield upgrade. A uh, few of them that are possible. The Shield of Midnight would be nice. I think there are better, though. I think the one from Draken Drakenlich is a really good upgrade. And uh, there's a few more that I've been looking at um, that would be great. I think there's a Flowing Thought one that will probably never happen because that goes to, like, clerics and things like that. But, uh, yeah, it's um, I have I have a list of things I want to try to get try to get those upgrades uh vendi bp would be kind of nice just just as a a second secondary bp um and, and so on so i also have been working on drachmir i finally got him to level 60 i don't know if i've already said that he is my first level 60 so now let the reign of level 60s happen i guess um malagdori is currently 54 my shaman is currently 55 my rogue is 57 but seeing that i've already set malagdori as my main and i really am enjoying playing him i mean while the defense is absolutely messed up uh it is still a really fun class to play i can pull during uh during raids i can flop especially once i get level 60. by the way this right here this is ralagrin he is the one you do the final turn in for the helm and uh now we're going to head on to yelenek's lair so yeah um he is uh he's been my main for about a week now actually yeah a week i would say january 1st was whenever he became my main I ended up getting a weird item, and, you know, you gotta read the items that you bid on, or you waste your DKP on items, but it actually isn't a waste because it's going to go on my monk. Um, there was an item that dropped off of the Royal Dijen called the Afridi Partisan, and it says Shadow Knight, and for some reason I didn't look at it completely, it said Secondary. And so it is a 3 damage, 10 delay pushing weapon. And that's why I wanted it. Is I wanted it to be able to push better in raids. Um, like when, because I don't know if ever I will become a tank at, at a raid. But uh, I, I would rather have the ability to help push on mobs that you need to have heavy push for. So I ended up winning it. Um, for pretty low DKP, and uh, yeah, so yeah, once you get to the lair of Yelenak, you uh, click the crust behind where he spawns, and it will take you back to the beginning. So I've been kind of holding out. I didn't tell you if I won anything from the uh, Halls of Testing raid, but I ended up winning two of the three plate items that dropped. One of them being the helm. The other being the breastplate. So I am off to a good start to become the eggplant that I am supposed to be. I did find that I had an issue here. I was trying to hand him like food and water to make sure that there was no mistakes or no problems with the with the turn in. But for some reason it wouldn't let me do it. Uh, do like two items at a time. So I ended up just putting the food in there and um, and turning it in straight away. And then I finally did the turn in for the breastplate. Let me tell you, um, the breastplate that I've been wearing for a, over a year and a half or two is the Pabla breastplate. And I'm not getting rid of it because the Pabla breastplate is the, has 20 to um poison i believe resist and 20 to disease or it's one or the other it's it's either both or one or the other i'm 
but uh so that is definitely going to go into my re resist gear set but man such a huge upgrade with this breastplate it it's absolutely ridiculous and this my friends is where i mess up i decided hey you know i remember back on live that i was able to have a purple helmet that's not correct because that is not what happens here you do not get a purple helmet you get the same color helmet that you get from doing the third armor so I messed up. I would have rather gone without a helm graphic just because it looks better to me, uh, but I didn't, and that is what ended up happening. As I ended up getting the custom Blood Lord helmet, I believe is what it's called. But thank you, everybody. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Hopefully, you're having a great day and winning all of those pixels out there. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing and all the comments you give me. Have a good one. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.